What's going on, YouTube? Reason Out is back once again, and we're going to do a little something different today, y'all. We ain't talking video games. We ain't talking music. We talking basketball. We love that basketball. NBA is back, baby. No more lockout. It's done with in the past. Bad memory, bad dream. Done with. Game's going to start Christmas Day, December 25th, with an epic triple header. Lakers and Bulls. Ooh. There goes the reigning MVP against the greatest player on the planet today, Kobe Bryant. My favorite squad is the Bulls, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we got Miami Heat and Dallas Mavericks, rematch from last year's NBA Finals. LeBron got to sit there and watch Dallas raise their championship banner and get their rings. Uh, and then we got Boston Celtics and the, and the newly revamped New York Knicks with Melo and uh, Sotomayor. Yo, great, great action going on Christmas Day. But the purpose of this video is to get in, back into a topic that I have uh, debated for years with people, and I'm not being cocky or nothing, I'm just being real, because of the stats, because of the fact that the truth backs up itself, I ain't had nobody prove me wrong on this topic, so I'm going to do another video on it, uh, before I get into this, I just want to say two things on record, so people don't think I'm a biased, cocky bastard, which I'm not, number one, I made a video last year when the decision went down, and LeBron and Bosch went to Miami, that the Lakers were still the better team, and the Lakers were still winning the championship, now while I believe that the Lakers are still the better team, they are, team... 1 through 12, they are the better team. I'm sorry. Or 1 through 15, I should say. They are the better team. The Heat have the more talent. Okay, so the Heat did a lot of things to prove me wrong last season, even though ultimately I was right. I said they go to the Eastern Conference Finals and lose, or the championship and lose, and they did. They went to the championship and lost. So whatever. But I just want to put that on record. I was wrong about them to a certain degree. So I want people to know that. I acknowledge that. Now, um... I also want to acknowledge that I'm a Kobe Bryant fan to the death. And this video deals with Kobe Bryant and also deals with LeBron James. So I'm going to get that off my chest right now. However, I don't want you to think I'm biased because of my fanhood for Kobe. Because I've always been a man that believes that, yo, if you could have your favorite, you could have your preference, it's all good. And you could choose to like who you like and for whatever reasons. But you cannot deny statistical truth in whatever. So that being said, let's get right into it. Who is the man, Kobe or LeBron? Who is the better player, Kobe or LeBron? Let's just get into a couple of things right off the top of my head. I ain't got no stat sheet in front of me or nothing. I'm just talking because I've been following the game since I was 10. I'm 27 now. Do the math. You know what I'm saying? Um, LeBron James is a phenomenal talent. One of the best talents we've seen, just raw physical ability as far as the NBA's history goes. Bar none. Amazing. However... He's 0-2 in the NBA Finals. Kobe Bryant is 5-2 in the NBA Finals. LeBron James went to the Finals with Cleveland his first time. And people give him a pass and say, okay, he was young. He was, you know, a second-year man or whatever it was, you know. And it was a Spurs. They were going to you know, destroy them. Okay, fine. We'll give him a pass. But a lot of people out there give Kobe hate because his first three titles he won alongside Shaq, the most dominant big man the game's ever seen. Okay, well, by that logic, shouldn't you be slamming on LeBron for last year not getting the ring against Dallas when he had the second best player in the NBA, in my opinion, in a lot of people's opinions, or one of the top five players in the NBA of, of this generation, Dwayne Wade, and then the, one of the best uh, power forwards the game's ever seen in Chris Bosh? He had both of them and home court advantage and lost. Shouldn't people be slamming on him for that? But, you know, let, let, let's keep going. So, he's 0-2 in the NBA Finals while Kobe's 5-2. People say, oh, Kobe got those first three rings because he was with Shaq. BS, if he wasn't there, Shaq wouldn't have had those rings either. But let's go a little further. He won two more the very next, now, in your face, with Gasol. He won against the Magic, and he won against the Celtics, who were a beastly team. Which were also his team's rival. Okay, and not many players can say that. That they won championship gold taking care of of their hated rivals. LeBron is 0-2 in the NBA Finals. I can't say that enough. Okay, so now we go on to clutch factor. Who is better with the ball in his hands at the end of a game? Now, I will say, LeBron James has had his fair share, a lot more than people want to admit, of game-winning shots. But the problem is that they come mostly in the regular season or the first game of a playoff series that really doesn't mean all that much and nothing else. Where was he in the finals last year? Choking. Where was he the year before that against the, the Celtics and the Magic in the playoffs? Choking. This is what this guy does. Okay, I'm saying I'm not a hater, but I'm being real. I'm calling it how we see it. This is what he does in high-pressure situations. For all the ability in the world for the chosen one, the King James and all that garbage, he chokes. 
Okay, he's phenomenal. He's an amazing player, but he chokes. Okay, Kobe has been the best player of the last seven or eight years in this league. He's got five rings to show for it and seven finals appearances. A league MVP, a couple of all-star MVPs. What does LeBron have? See, that league MVP that I just mentioned with Kobe and those all-star MVPs and all that, they don't mean jack. They're just extra fluff. They're extra icing on the cake. What matters is the rings. He's got five plus all that fluff I just talked about. LeBron's got some fluff and no substance. Where are his rings? You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. Finals, Kobe. Clutch factor. I ain't even got to open the book on Kobe's clutchness. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows it. Kobe is a killer. When the ball is in his hands at the end of a game and the game is on the line, all right? Just a year ago or two, he had a freaking a streak of, uh, I think in, in, in that season, he had seven game-winning shots. Some great players in the history of the NBA don't have seven game-winning shots their whole career. He had it in one season. He's had, I think, 16 or 17 all time. He's had him in the playoffs. He's had him in the finals. He's had him in the regular season. He's had him in all-star games. He's had him everywhere. And not to mention, last year's all-star game, he kind of owned LeBron when he went fast break and dunked on him. LeBron trying to go for his usual chase down block. No, no, not on Kobe. Dunked it on him and then gave him a little pat in the ass to tell him, that's all you. You know what I'm saying? Kobe is the superior player. What about work ethic? All right? When LeBron James loses a game or a high-pressure game, a high-pressure situation, he pouts, doesn't shake the other team's hand, leaves the court, and is real cynical in the media and really disses the fans, to be honest. Y'all you, know what I'm talking about, Heat fans. Y'all know. Uh, Kobe, when he loses, I'll give you an example. When Kobe and the Lakers lost the second game last season to the Heat in Miami, Kobe missed a game-winning shot that he should have hit. What did he do? He stayed in Miami's arena till 3 in the morning shooting free throws, three-pointers, fadeaways to the point where Miami's own staff, their own locker room staff and, 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 and arena staff stayed there passing him balls for him to shoot it because they were amazed at this guy's work ethic. Does that sound like somebody, oh, I don't know, maybe Mr. Michael Jordan? Same work ethic. The guy is a phenom. The guy has proven himself in work ethic, clutch factor, rings, overall play, defense. People think LeBron James is a great defender. He's not a great defender. He is a tremendous force when it comes to raw athletic ability, and he has hustle, so he gets a lot of chase down blocks, newsflash. Chase down blocks, so they're phenomenal, and they're fun, and all that. They're not good defense. They're hustle. Good defense is never letting the dude get by you in the first place, so you don't have to go for a chase down block. Kobe is a hell of a defender. He's been proven it his whole career. He is in the same vein as a Ron Artest or a Michael Jordan or a Scottie Pippen when it comes to defense. He's proven it. He stays in front of the ball handler. A ball handler looking across at Kobe Bryant is a damn nightmare because he knows Kobe's going to be a mission to get by. A ball handler looking at LeBron knows that he's going to get by him. He's just got to worry about the chase down block. You know, so Kobe's got him on defense. He's got him on experience. He's got him on clutch factor. He's got him on rings. Where is the discussion? Where is the real debate here? You know what I'm saying? I, I like LeBron James. I'm not a fan, but I'm not a hater. I want the dude to succeed, and I want to see him become that which everyone is calling him. And I'm not a hater. Yo, hey, do your thing. But don't have everybody out here talking all this garbage like you're the man and you're crazy and you're off the Richter when you don't really have anything to show for it. All that raw ability. Where are the rings? Bottom line. At the end of the day, you know, Kobe's sitting there with five rings. And before his career is over, I believe he'll get that sixth one and tie Michael Jordan. Where are LeBron's rings? That's, that's my point, man. So when it comes to the discussion, to me, it's not a discussion. To me, you look at stats, you look at history, you look at games, you look at just, just watching the two of them play, watching how they command their teams, which LeBron doesn't command his team. Kobe Bryant is the supreme player of this generation. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video, basketball fans. If you don't, if you don't agree with me, please, by all means, express uh, your disagreements in the comments. Be respectful. But, you know, let me have it, y'all. I like to go back and forth on this is the NBA, baby, and we're back in business. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I hope y'all enjoy it. Enjoy the season because we're getting ready to take flight, baby. God bless y'all. Stay gaming.